Hi everybody. I am in West Palm Beach. We have come out to walk on the beach. There's a few things I came out here to do because God was putting it on my heart to pray over the red tide issue. So before I leave, I'm gonna lay hand in the water and pray over the red tide. But there's just some philosophical thoughts that come up when you're at the beach. First of all, just look at this. The ocean not just beautiful. I have a friend who's having a rough day today and I sent her a short video clip of this. Just this ocean, the beautiful nature of it and I'm like listen to the sound and she's like that's so therapeutic, it's so healing. Like it's so amazing how when God created the ocean, something about being on the edge of the water is healing. It's amazing. And I think that's why Footprints became so popular. It, uh, it's a poem that really reflects that moment. So I have been walking along the beach and as you may notice, look down here, it leaves footprints, right? And that's what the poem Footprints is about. You know, I was walking down the beach, I saw one set of footprints in the sand and I was like, God, where were you in my times of trial? And he says, in your times of trial, I was carrying you. And that's why you only see one set of footprints. But then I noticed that as the water comes up on the shore, your footprints get washed away entirely. God is so healing. And there's so many biblical metaphors and parallels about how the sea is all of our turmoil, our anger, our conflict. <laughs> and it's it's so nice to be up on the shoreline where you can step away from it and destroy the edges of the water but in Revelation it says there will be no more sea there will be new heaven new earth and no more sea and then we'll have the river of the waters of life right down the center in the middle of the street I had prayed about this a lot I'm like well there will be water but there will be no more sea God can you explain this to me like are you going to get rid of the oceans? Like, what's going to happen in Revelation that's going to cause this picture to happen? And a metaphor was explained to me that the waters are like our feelings. The ocean, the sea, it's all the conflict. All the things we don't know how to cope with. The process, the hurt, the pain. But God's going to wipe all the tears away from our eyes. Just like the ocean waters are coming up here and wiping away my footprints. And I think there's just something so beautiful about that because it gives me peace. It stills the waters inside my heart and brings me peace. And in Revelation, I believe that those, that straight path we walk is the street and the waters of peace and waters of life that flow down the center, that's all the waters that were in the sea in the conflict coming together in peace, walking in the joy and the love and the understanding of God. And I think it's gonna be beautiful. So I, I feel like if you really do the study of water and at what it represents metaphorically in the Bible, um, there's a lot to that. To come to that understanding took me years and years and years of emotional growth and biblical study and you know, for it to really make sense, to really be grasped by my brain and my heart and my soul all together, enough for it to be a deep meaning. But. I wanted to share with you, you know, the water is washing away my footprints. And the footprints in the poem came up. She was asking about her times of trial, right? So it's almost like the waters are washing away all the trial and the pain and the hurt and just letting me heal. And God is carrying me so much, so well that we're flying, we're floating, we're we're in the sky now, right? So I just had to share some of those thoughts with you while I'm out here uh, on the beach, share the scenery with you because who doesn't love a good ocean shot? Turn on the audio and listen to the waves. It's just, 
relaxing. It's soothing. Look at the clouds. I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope that this message blessed you in some way. And I hope you get a chance to go to the beach on the ocean sometime and experience the water crashing into your legs for yourself. Under the sun, with blue cloudy skies, and maybe some friends and family around to keep you company, pick up some shells, watch the birds, relax a little bit and unwind. I hope you get that opportunity in your life. So anyway, have a blessed day. Love you.